Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Let's get started in child's pose. So everybody, as you allow the hips to rest back towards the heels of the feet, allow the weight of your skull to just be supported by the ground. Notice that stretch that you get across the back, the spine, the hips, the inner thighs, and also the space that you get within the belly right now. As you start to hook into that flow of breath, see if you can pull the inhales down into that lower back, into that belly, as you feel the expansion. And as you exhale, just feel the contraction. As you start to generate that wave of breath, just moving in and out through the nose. Setting your foundation for your practice, and allowing your mind to become centered, steady, and present so that everything that happens beyond this opening pose, you're set up for success. So much of the practice revolves around the quality of the breath and the quality of the mind. At the same time, it's athletic, incredibly meditative as well. So breathing in a good three to four seconds. Also breathing out a good three to four seconds. And just allowing any stress and any worries, any tensions to just start to dissolve. Just enjoying that you've landed on your mat. And you have your whole practice ahead of you where your only responsibility is to take care of yourself to replenish, to recharge, to rejuvenate. So by the end of the practice, you're invigorated, at the same time, sweetly fatigued. If you ever need to take a break at any point, feel free to drop the knees onto the mat and just know that child's pose is always here if you want. So with that breath and that flow, and with that mind deep in that yoga zone, Let's go ahead and start to build a flow by extending the hands, the arms out in front of you as far as they'll go. Spread the hands a little bit wider than the shoulders. Open out wide through your fingers. And then go ahead and tuck the toes underneath the feet. And then slide into the first down dog of the class. And as you come into your first downward facing dog, feel free to walk your dog. Just pedaling one foot down towards the ground at a time. And that should feel good, especially since we have a ways to go before we get that body warm and loose and opened up. And also a good time as well to just get a, a good reading as to how your body is, is doing today. Every day you get onto your yoga mat, it's another story. It's a new body. It's a new day. You got new sensations to contend with. So just be really attuned to what you're feeling right now. And then you just make those adjustments accordingly. Good. Keep driving those palms firm into the mat. And as you root down solidly through the palms, allow the hips to slope up, creating as much extension through the spine, the torso as you can. And as those hips slope up, just work those heels down towards the ground with any, no attachment to whether the heels touch the floor or not. And then relax the face. Notice you have just the right amount of space between the teeth so you're not gripping the jaw. You're not, you're not creating tension anywhere that the body doesn't need it. Good. Take one last inhale. Gently press the hips back. And then exhale. Lightly walk both feet all the way forward to the top of your mat. And then spread the feet out about the width of the hips. And then bring the hands up to the shins right beneath the knees into a first flat back. Taking a couple breaths there. 
as you extend your heart forward out towards that front wall. One more big inhale, draw out, find that link. And then exhale, forward fold, melt down. Good. Put a little bend in the knees, bring the hands all the way up to the waist. And then grounding through the feet, leading through the heart. On a big inhale, rise and float both arms all the way up above. And then both hands to prayer, right in front of your chest. Take a moment, close the eyes, bring the gaze inside. And then we'll chant the mantra om together one time. Take a big, deep inhale through the nose. Om. Good. Slowly open up the eyes. Release the arms down by your sides. Take a moment to feel stability, connectedness, the dynamicness of stillness. Being grounded. Take a big inhale, float both arms all the way up, grow long, get tall. And then exhale, forward fold, dive down on the out breath. Inhale, flat back, either fingers on the floor or hands to shins. And then exhale, step back to plank. Lower down, same out breath, strong. Inhale, cobra chest scoops up. And exhale, down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and then commit to that ujjayi breath. So feel that music of the breath as you generate that breath sound on both the inhales and the exhales. Allow the breath to be steady. Allow the breath to be fluid as we just start to kick it into gear and stoke that fire. Down dog, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. And then back to down dog on the exhale. Good, two more like that. Inhale forward to plank. And exhale, down dog. Good, one more time. Inhale, shoulders above wrist. And then down dog, exhale. Hold there, take an inhale, stretch back. And then exhale, walk or jump quietly, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, stretch that spine out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and sweep both arms up above. And then both hands to prayer, bringing it to center. Inhale, sweep those arms up, maybe even lean back a little at the top. And then exhale, forward fold like a moving prayer. Inhale, flat back, draw the air down deep. And then exhale, step or jump back, lower down with muscular strength. Inhale, arch in that spine. And exhale, back down dog. Good. Try not to get, ever get ahead of the breath and allow the breath to lead and guide the way. So imagine your breath is like the horse that pulls the cart. It's your breath that's the catalyst for motion, for movement. From down dog, inhale forward to plank. Upper push up, and then chaturanga, lower and float right above the mat. Plank, inhale, rise straight up, and then down dog, press the hips back. Good, two more like that. Inhale, forward, get set. Exhale, lower down, float. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, press back. Good, one more time. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, rise up. Exhale, down dog. Take a big inhale, deepen in. And then exhale, walk or spring both feet through. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, dissolve. Inhale, rise and soar both arms up. And then both hands to prayer, bringing it in. Inhale, arms up, feel those feet drive down. And then exhale, forward fold, blending breath, body, and mind. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down, elbows in, heart forward. Inhale, bend that spine till it feels right. And exhale, back down, dog. Good, you guys. From here, inhale forward to plank, upper push-up, keeping it moving. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Upper facing dog. Inhale, adding on. Exhale, down dog, thighs back. Two more like that. Inhale, forward. Exhale as you lower down, core strong. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Good, one more time. Inhale, forward, the power of three. Exhale, lower down with strength. Inhale, chest scoops up. And exhale, down dog. Take a big inhale, stretch back, get long, get loose. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet through. Inhale, decompress. Exhale, enjoy the stretch. Inhale, rise and reach, arms up. Both hands to prayer, bringing it back to where it matters. Inhale, arms reach up for you at length. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, flat back, let that oxygen flow low. And exhale, step or jump back, lower down slow. Inhale, hit that perfect spot. And exhale, down dog. Good. From here, right leg to the sky, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale, touch. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, left tricep, cross. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee to the belly, down the middle. Inhale, right leg back. And then down dog, set the right foot on the mat, other side. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee, left tricep touch. Inhale, back. Exhale, cross. Inhale, thread it for length. Left knee to the belly for core strength. Good. Inhale, left leg back. And then down dog, set it down. Hold there. Take a nice big inhale through the nose, and then out the mouth. Let it go. Mm. Good. Inhale. Stretch it back, and exhale. Walk or jump mindfully. Top of the mat. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Forward fold. Put the feet together. Bend the knees. Squat the hips down, and then chair. Both arms all the way up into the air. Take five breaths there. Good. Get light through your toes. Get strong through those glutes. Reach those elbows up with purpose. Spread those fingers wide with passion. Squat down a little bit deeper. Find your edge. Take one last inhale. Lift those arms up. And then exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Step or jump back. Vinyasa. Inhale, surfing those waves of breath, and exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky, right knee to the belly, exhale, connect. Inhale, right leg back, and then right foot, top of the mat, deep runner's lunge. Good, crescent, take both arms, and bring those all the way up to the sky above you. Good. Bend your right thigh parallel to the floor. Right knee should be right above your right heel. And then drive back to that left leg. Good. Let that chest stay facing forward. And then spread both arms out nice and wide. So you have a little bit in the elbows. The shoulder blades contract as the chest, the heart, and the lungs. All of that expands and opens up. So it should feel invigorating. It should feel empowering. Now, both arms back up. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, vinyasa, all the way down with steadiness. Inhale, sweet spine, caress. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee to the core you touch. Inhale, drive with power. And then exhale, flow with grace. On back right toes. Crescent pose, both arms, all the way up above. Take a moment, feel that lower body rooting, feel that upper body reaching with buoyancy. And then with that breath and that flow, go ahead and spread those arms out nice and wide. For what the yogis call the gesture of vitality, prana mudra. The more energy, the more vitality that we can tap into and then harness 
And the more that we can give within our careers, our school studies, our relationships, other forms of fitness. So let's just keep stoking that vitality from within. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, vinyasa. All the way down, elbows hug. Inhale, heart shines up. Exhale, down dog. Good, you guys. We're going to pick up the pace now. Move with a little bit more speed. And just get even more of that good medicine pumping through the body. So three rounds of a second warm-up series. Remember as well, you can always take a break at any point. So here we go. Take an inhale, stretch it back. And then exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold squat. Inhale, chair, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, head low. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Right knee to the belly, squeeze. Inhale, right leg back. Right foot, top of the mat. Inhale, rise, lift up. Spread the arms out wide as can be. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. All the way down with integrity. Inhale, bend that spine easy. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee to the core. Inhale, pierce it back, and exhale, flow it top of the mat. Inhale, rise from strength. Exhale, spread wide as can be. Inhale, reach up with levity. Exhale, vinyasa, all the way down slowly. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog. Take a big inhale through the nose. Good, you guys. You're just moving up that mountain, climbing up the mountain, getting up the trail, increasing the elevation as you elevate mind, body, and spirit. And the more that you elevate, the more that your perspective always expands. And I know for myself, whenever I'm moving through something challenging in life, I get onto my mat, I practice yoga. I get a little break from it, and very often when I come back, the perspective is so clear that I know exactly how to deal with the issue, how to move through the challenge. Good round two. Inhale, stretch back, get long, get loose, and then exhale, walk, or slingshot both feet through. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold squat. Inhale, chair, arms up, fingers spread. Exhale, drop that head. Inhale, fill the lungs with oxygen. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down, elbows in. Inhale, find your spot. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up in the flow. Right knee to the belly, hit that perfect note. Inhale, press back. And exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, rise with precision. Exhale, spread for expansion. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, vinyasa. All the way down with equanimity. Inhale, gliding through. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee to the core, connect. Inhale, drive it back. And exhale, stick it top of the mat. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, spread generously wide. Inhale, reach up, lean back. Exhale, vinyasa, smooth sailing down to your yoga mat. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, back, down dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, stick out the tongue, lion's breath. Good, you guys, this is the place to just let it go. Let it all go. Let the tensions go. Let the stresses go. Let the negativities go. And allow each exhale to be a wondrous opportunity to get a little bit lighter through the body, but also a little lighter in the mind, a little lighter in that heart. 
So by the time you finish your practice, you just float out of here, you feel so light. Last round, and then we'll move on. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, squat. Inhale, chair, ukatasana. Exhale, fold, uttanasana. Inhale, ardha uttanasana. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, bhujangasana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Right knee to the belly, squeeze. Inhale, press it long. Exhale, deep and strong. Inhale, rise with purpose. Exhale, spread it out wide. Inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, vinyasa. Let that wave of breath carry you through. Inhale like you're sailing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, last side. Left knee to the belly, hit that bullseye. Inhale, press it back. And exhale, flow it deep. Inhale, rise, reach up. Exhale, spread out for power. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, vinyasa, all the way down without collapsing. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, you got it. Down dog. Good, you guys. You should feel the energy moving now. All the blood, all the warmth, all the sweat, all the endorphins, all that good stuff just spilling through the body. Good. Well, let's walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat, all the way back by the feet. Reach down, grab your big toes, first two fingers. And then flat back, inhale, stretch the spine up and out. And then exhale, forward fold. So just bend your elbows, pull nice and easily the top of the head to the floor. Taking advantage of that warmth pervading through the body. And at the same time, you're building that strength, creating that suppleness, that mobility, that agility, and that length. I don't know if there's a more balanced approach, a balanced form of fitness than what you're doing right now. You're getting strong, but you're getting long. And you're doing it with the mind serene and calm. Release the big toes. Bring the hands behind the low back. Interlace the fingers. And then draw the arms towards straight as we continue to explore the landscape of the body. Last inhale, deepen in. And then both hands back down to the mat. Good. Walk your hands all the way forward to the top of the mat until you land back in. Downward facing dog. From down dog, slide forward to plank, upper push up. Good. Bring your feet together side by side. And then roll into the outer edge of the right foot. And then stack your left foot on top. As you lean into the right hand, take the left arm, reach it up so you're in side plank. If you want to go stronger, start floating your left leg up a couple of feet. If you still want to go further, you're going to bend your left foot in. You're going to grab that left foot with that left hand. So your left knee points towards that back wall. And then wherever you are, feel that bottom right arm rooting as your top left hip floats up. Good. Your breath stays in that flow. Now left arm back up, inhale. And then left hand down to the mat, back to plank. Good. Take one inhale, plank. And then lower the right knee down. Lift the left leg up. Extend the right arm forward. And notice that you're in a sunbird pose. Good. Take a huge inhale. Reach it out. Right elbow, left knee. Exhale. Fold in. Inhale. Reach out. Exhale. Round in. Inhale once more. Exhale. Get deep in that core. Inhale. Reach out. Hold there. Good. Bend that back left foot in. And then go ahead and grab that with that right hand. And over the next five or so breaths, start peeling your left shin back. Feel your spine getting that deep touch. 
as you open up that right chest, right shoulder, and you breathe right to where you feel sensation, just like that opening child's pose, right to the places where you also feel space, where you feel space opening up. One more inhale, half bow, and then left leg back, right arm forward. Inhale, pull out, lift up, and exhale, hand knee foot to the mat. Good, step back to plank, upper push-up position, as we now set up for five yogi-style push-ups. If you want, drop your knees and modify. Just make sure you slide the knees back. Good, here we go. Inhale down, chaturanga. Exhale, plank press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, stomach firm. Exhale, face soft. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, rise. Inhale, last one. Exhale, press up. Good, hold there, take an inhale. And then lower slow, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. And exhale, back, down dog. Take a big inhale through the nose. Ah. Mm. Good, right leg to the sky, inhale. Right foot flows top of the mat on the exhale. And then crescent pose. Come all the way back up. Arms reaching above. Good. This time bring your hands behind the low back. Interlace the fingers. And then draw your arms, your elbows towards straight. Keep bending that right knee deep. Keep breathing that breath low. And know that your breath is your fuel. Your direct line to support, to energy. Now start leaning that torso forward on the inhale, and then step all the way up onto that front right foot, right leg, as you take flight, like a bullet shooting through the sky. Feel your bottom right leg strong, feel your chest extending out, and then here's the hard part, can you turn the outer left hip down as you lift the inner left eye up, and you get that left hip on the same plane as that right hip. Okay, one last inhale there. Spread the arms out wide, exhale. Okay, one inhale there. Hands to prayer, exhale. Okay, one inhale there. Come up to standing on the exhale. Left foot on the ground. Good, switching legs, lean into that left foot, reach down. Grab your right shin and hug and squeeze your right knee, right thigh deep in. Take a moment, behind your drishti, find that focal point. Good, now bring your left hand down to your left waist. First two fingers on that right hand. Reach down, grab that right big toe. Good, if that's enough, you just stay right there. Otherwise, just start extending that right leg out towards straight. Make sure it's right in front of you. And if it's not completely straight, that's fine. Just do what you can do. Put your spine up nice and tall, and then take that right leg or that bent right knee, and then open it all the way out towards the right. Take that left arm, spread it all the way out towards the left, and if you fall, it's all good. It's not the fall that defines you. It's probably how you deal with the fall. Now bring that right leg back down the middle. Good. Take both arms, reach them all the way to the sky. So right leg straight out in front of you. Now can you soften your bottom front ribs in? Can you feel the back of the heart lengthening up so your torso gets taller and straighter? Take one last inhale, lift the right leg up, and then airplane, come gliding all the way back. Take a good by inhale there. Lower both hands down onto the ground. Keep that right leg in the air. Walk your hands in towards that left foot, left leg, and then grab the back of that left foot with one or both of your hands, and then just invite your forehead in towards that left knee, left shin. And you allow all the muscles across the back of that left leg to open up. One last inhale, lift that right leg up, and then float the right foot all the way to the back of your mat, into a long, deep runner's lunge. 
Good. Now lean into the right hand, take the left arm, and then float that all the way to the sky. As you come into a little spread arm twist. So you're rooting down through that right arm. You're pulling up tall through that left arm. And you're giving that back right leg a lot of power, a lot of juice. Now roll the left chest open. And then extend your left arm forward all the way out towards that front wall. As you turn your navel towards that inner left eye. And you get long across that whole left side body. Good. Give that one last little reach. And then bring that top left arm all the way back up to the sky. Now check this out, you guys. Continue to face the left wall. Can you stand all the way up into a standing spread arm twist? Good. Just rise to the occasion. Your right toes are on the ground. Take your left hand. Bring it to the back of your right leg. And then reach that right arm all the way up to the sky. Keep descending the left eye down as you ascend that right arm. Then you lean back to your own degree and you find your back bend. Beautiful. Inhale, left arm up to meet the right. And then warrior two, back foot flat, right arm behind, left arm straight out in front of you. Good. Notice those feet spread a good four, four and a half feet apart. Notice your left knee tracking right towards the middle of that left foot. Your left hip wraps under and in. Your spine lifts up tall. And both arms in alignment with each other with left arm above left thigh. Right arm above back right leg. Good. Front leg straight. Inhale. Arms up. Palms together. Connect. And then warrior two exhale. Float it down. Inhale. Rise. Lift up. Exhale, back down. Once more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back down. Good. Flip the left palm up to the sky. And then reverse warrior. Right hand out of right leg. Left arm up and back. Like you're pulling back a gigantic bow and an arrow. And you're creating that good quality tension that creates more and more power. Okay, one last inhale, find your full expression, and then vinyasa, exhale, windmill all the way down, and ride that wave of breath. Inhale, heart up, collarbone spread, and exhale, you got it, down dog. Nice, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat, back by the feet. Open the feet out towards the outsides of your yoga mat. Turn the toes out about 45 degrees, and then yoga squat. Take a seat all the way down between your feet. For a moment, bring the hands right to prayer and feel that perfect symmetry of the right and the left palm joining together, creating balance, creating wholeness, which is a really the keystone of many of the great ancient philosophies and traditions. It's all about balance. And anytime we stray too far from that path of balance and we create imbalance, we create suffering. Anytime we stay on that path of balance, most likely we're going to be in our optimal state of health and happiness. Good. Both hands on the ground about the width of the shoulders. Come up onto the tips of the toes, and then elbow balance and crow. Just slide your inner knees as high up the triceps as you can, and then float the feet off the ground. And maybe it's for half a second, or maybe you're just lifting one foot up. You just do what you can. And remember, it's all about effort. It's never about an end result. And it is a yoga practice, so you're just practicing poses. All good. Last five, four, three, two, one. Back to squat, feet flat on the ground. Take a good by inhale there, and then hands to the ground, straighten the legs, fold over and down. Turn the toes and feet parallel to each other, width of hips, and then lift the toes off the mat, slide the hands deep underneath the soles of the feet. Wedge them in there nice and deeply. Then take a huge inhale, stretch the spine up and out. 
And then exhale, forward fold. Nice long exhales. Closing the gap between the chest and the legs. Nice long exhales to just release the things that are no longer serving you, the things that you no longer need. And then the inhales become all about replenishing, bringing in the things that you do need to support you, to nourish you, to sustain you. Good. Release the hands from underneath the bottoms of the feet. And then walk the hands forward to the top of the mat, back to down dog. As we get back onto the trail, back onto the path. Come back to that ujjayi breath. Come back to that mind in the pocket, in the zone. As you watch your breath like a hawk. Slide forward to plank, upper push up. Bring the feet together side by side. And then roll into the outer edge of the left foot. Stack the right foot on top, side plank. If you want less, you can always lower your left knee down, modify at any point. If you want more, start lifting that right leg up and float. And then bend your right foot in. Grab that right foot with that right hand. And take it as far as you want. It's your body, your practice. And you have always options. Some days you need the strong option. Some days you need the softer. Some days you need the middle option. Wherever you are, last inhale, and then right hand back down to the mat to plank. Take one inhale plank to organize, and then lower the left knee down. Lift the right leg up, and then extend that left arm forward, big inhale reach, and then left elbow, right knee, exhale round. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, reach, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, come out. Hold there. Bend that back right foot in. And then grab that with that left hand. Now make sure that you're not collapsing into your right shoulder. So actively press the floor away from you through that right hand. And feel the space maintained in that right shoulder joint. One more inhale, half bow. Right leg back, left arm out. Inhale, pull out, lift up. Exhale, hand knee foot to the back. Good, you guys. Step back to plank, upper push-up position. Forearm plank, lower the elbows, forearms onto the mat. Let's bring the hands together, interlacing all the fingers and stacking shoulders right above the elbows. When you get the bones properly aligned, then the muscles around the bones don't have to work quite as hard. Good, the navel's lifting up and in. Tailbone's lengthening back by the heels of the feet. The gaze might be ever so slightly forward. Now lift the right leg up a few inches off the ground. Keep your face soft. And then right knee, right tricep. Hold it strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Right leg back, right toes on the mat. The left leg up, recommit, forearms drive down, that apana vayu. Left knee, left tricep, hold it right there, side abdominals, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg back, left toes on the mat, now climb up to plank, upper push-up position. When you get there, take a good by inhale, you are strong. Exhale, lower down, slow. Inhale, chest up, shoulders back, and exhale, down dog. Woo! Inhale, left leg up, left foot top of the mat. Inhale, crescent, rise up, light and strong. Good hands behind the low back. Interlace, pull those elbows towards straight. Come back to that breath. Good. Start tilting that torso forward on the inhale, and then shift all the way up onto that front left foot, left leg without missing a beat. And even if externally, like you're, you know, kind of shifting around or maybe even fall out of the pose, just inside of you, can you remain steady? 
A lot of the external stuff we don't have control over. It's the internal stuff that we're really empowered with. So work at controlling the things that you actually have power over, and then just let go of the other stuff so you don't create any unnecessary stress or worry. Good. Spread the arms out nice and wide. Bring the hands to prayer right in front of the heart. Take a good by and hell there, and then rise all the way up to standing, right foot on the ground. Mm. Good. Lean into that right foot. Reach down, grab the left shin, hug and squeeze that left knee, left eye deep in. Try and get all four corners of your right foot evenly rooting down. Keep that left knee where it is, right hand to the right hip. First two fingers, left hand, are going to grab left big toe. Again, that might be enough, and you just stay right there. Otherwise, start drawing your left leg out towards straight. But try not to let your spine start to hunch and round. Try and keep your spine tall and vertical. Even if that means that you got to bend your left knee. You see, your spine is the most important meridian in the body. So get that set first. Now take that left leg, left knee, and then start spreading it all the way out towards the left. And then extend that right arm all the way out towards the right. And breathe. Awesome. Left leg back down the middle. Both hands grab the waist. Extend that left leg straight out in front. Take both arms, shine them like two blades sticking straight up. Outer shoulders roll forward. Good. Soften your traps, your neck muscles down. Take one last inhale, lift it up, and then back to warrior three. Gliding back. We're only here for a second. Take a good by and how to fly. And then both hands to the ground. Left leg stays up. Walk your hands in towards that right foot. And then grab the back of that right foot if you like. One. Or if you really want to challenge your balance, grab it with both hands. Completely up to you. One more inhale. Lift that left leg up. And then float the left foot all the way to the back of the mat as long and deep as you can. Get a nice, long, deep runner's lunge. Now lean into that left hand. Take that right arm and then reach it all the way up to the sky. Good. Feel your inner thighs magnetizing towards each other. And then roll that right chest open. Extend that right arm forward all the way out towards that front wall. But you keep pressing back to that left leg. Good. Right arm up to the sky. Your chest continues to face the right wall. You're going to stand all the way up. So see if you can maintain your balance as you rise all the way up. Arms radiating out from that heart. Take that back hand and just set it right on top of that left hamstring. Take that top left arm, reach it all the way to the sky, and bend that right thigh. Descend it down. That's it. Yeah. Good. Take an inhale, lift the right arm all the way up to meet the left. And then warrior two, turn that corner. Back left foot flat. Mmm. Good, you're that Zen warrior moving through the battle, meeting adversity with steadiness, equanimity, and nobility. You see, it doesn't matter what yoga pose you're in. It doesn't matter what life situation you're in. The mind has the capability to always remain steady, to always be non-reactive. Good, front leg straight. Inhale, arms up, palms together. Exhale, warrior two, light as a feather. Inhale, rise, strong as steel. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise, hold the breath to the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, warrior two. Lift the right palm to the sky. Reverse warrior, left hand outer left leg. 
right arm reaches all the way up and back. And breath by breath, you just keep pulling that bow and arrow back, continuing to bend that front right knee deep. One last inhale, get deep in there. And exhale, vinyasa, all the way down as you windmill and flow. Inhale, chest up, shoulders roll. Exhale, back, down dog. Last down dog of the class. Good, press strong through those inner hands. Feel those knuckles driving. And then how about one more inhale, deep and in there. And then relax the knees down onto the mat. Good, you guys. Stand up on top of your two knees as we set up for camel. So just bring your hands to your, your waist for a moment. And focus on getting your knees and your feet set. So they're spread about the width of the shoulders, and you get that solid base. Now slide the hands around to the low back, fingertips down like you're sliding your fingers into pant pockets. And then the heel of the hand should be right on the upper ridge of the sacrum. So you're creating support through your low back. The inner thigh spirals slightly back, almost like you're holding a block right between the inner legs. Good. Now start lifting the chest up. And as you start leaning back, keep your chin actually down. So it's the top of the neck that you want to feel lengthening towards that back wall. So you maintain space and integrity through the neck, through that cervical spine. If you want more, you can always bring the hands back onto the heels. But just know, sometimes deeper is not always necessarily better. You never want to irritate. Now, wherever you are, take five powerful breaths there, focusing on the inhales as you breathe right to the center of your chest. Good. Next inhale, calm all the way up, tabletop pose, both hands down onto the mat, cat and cow. Inhale, heart forward, belly drops. Exhale, round slow through every vertebra. Inhale, heart forward. Collarbone spread. Exhale, round in chest, chin and head. Good, one more. Inhale, heart forward through the gateways of the shoulders. Exhale, round it in. Come back to a neutral spine. And then walk your knees forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release down onto your sit bones. And then boat pose. Go ahead and lift your legs up. Extend your arms out. Balancing on those sit bones. Good. Coming back to that core. So the core is where our solar plexus is. The yogis also believe this is where our self-esteem resides. So when we have a strong core, we have strong self-esteem to break through our own limiting beliefs, our own fears. Now from here, lower halfway down on the inhale, and then rise up, exhale, one. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, up, two. Inhale, low. Exhale, up, three. Inhale, Exhale, four. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, five. Inhale, lower. Exhale, six. Inhale, down. Exhale, seven. Inhale, you got it. Exhale, eight. Inhale, almost there. Exhale, nine. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, ten. Good, hold there. Bring the hands together. Interlace all the fingers but the indexes, and then twist all the way across to the right. And in the intensity, can you be like the eye of the storm, the stillness in the middle of it all? Good. Same thing all the way over to the other side. A lot of drama is self-created, is self-induced. Stay calm, stay steady. Come back down the middle. Open the hands wide. Take one last inhale. Lift it all up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Woo! 
That sequence never gets easy, does it? Mm. Good, you guys. Reach down, grab the shins. Squeeze the knees and thighs deep into the belly. Give that lower back a little gentle rock side to side. Good, and then let's bring that right ankle right on top of that left knee, left eye. So the right knee flares out towards the right. Slip the right arm through the legs. And then thread the needle pigeon. As you reach down, grab either your left hamstring or your left shin with both hands. And as you draw your left eye down towards your chest, you're rolling your outer right hip externally forward. And you should feel some activation deep in that, that right hip region. Again, you just breathe right to the source of sensation of stimulation. Good, give that one last little squeeze. Uncross that right leg, same thing, other side. Left ankle on top of right thigh. Left knee opens out to the left. And then just snake. Left arm right down through those legs. Make sure you're flexing your feet, especially your left foot. That brings stability, support right around the left knee. And then just give that left hip just a little bit of love. Every time I step onto my yoga mat, I'm just reinforcing these qualities, and I reinforce them in my yoga practice so that in the real world, they kick in in a way that's organic and almost effortless. Those qualities of compassion, integrity, sensitivity, generosity, love balance, wisdom, all these qualities get strengthened every time I get onto my mat. Try and keep focusing on the breath. Try and keep focusing on that sensation. Last couple breaths there. Good, uncross that left leg, grab the shins, Hug and squeeze both knees, both thighs in. And then gently rock the legs all the way up over your head towards the back wall into plow pose. Halasana. And then bring both hands to your low back for support. And then lightly float both legs all the way up to the sky into a shoulder stand. And just take about a minute or so, a good 60 seconds, turning everything upside down. And just make sure that as gravity's pulling all the, the weight down, that it lands into the shoulders, the triceps, the elbows, and not the neck, not the neck. One last inhale, stretch up to the feet, and then plow pose. Let the legs drift all the way back over the head. Nice. Now extend both arms straight out in front of you, lawn the mat, and then slowly uncoil through every vertebra of your spine. You feel the lower back touch down onto the mat. Grab your shins, squeeze your knees back in. 
feet the right thigh in, extend the left leg out in front of you. Open the right arm out towards the right, and then let the right knee drift all the way over to the left into a bent knee reclining spinal twist. Right knee back up to middle. Squeeze the right thigh in. And then pull the left knee in to join the right. And then switch sides. Extend the right leg out. Reach the left arm out towards the left. And then let that left knee fall gently all the way towards the right. Left knee back up to center. Hug and squeeze both the left and the right knee in. And then finally take a big inhale. Curl the forehead up to the knees. Give your whole body a big hug of gratitude. Thank you, body. And then exhale, Shavasana. Release. Relax. Some people call it the starfish pose. As you let the legs, let the arms open out, or like a snow angel. So you don't want to feel too narrow, too contracted. You want to feel expanded through the body. You definitely want to feel comfortable. And then you just close the eyes. You let the breath soften. You allow the whole body to soften. And you just take the last few minutes and see how deep into that rabbit hole of stillness that you can fall into. Shavasana.
everybody nice and easily. Just start to slip back into that sensation of the body being supported by the ground. That gentle flow of breath. And just that that sweetness of just being calm at peace. Go ahead and reach the arms all the way up over the head, interlacing the fingers, turning the palms inside out, and just giving your whole body a sweet, thorough stretch. Reach for, grab the shins, hug and squeeze the knees deep in, and then gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final cross-legged seated position. As you get up to seated, bring both hands right up to prayer, right up in front of your heart, taking these last moments to give gratitude to the practice. Gratitude to the practice for all that it brings all that it provides, and to create the space for transformation in an environment that's non-competitive, non-comparative, and just a place for you to reconnect back to the authentic self. Let's seal the practice one last time. Take a big inhale through the nose. Much health, much wealth, much, much love to you. Have a beautiful rest of your evening. Namaste.